Welcome back everybody. Um, I told you the last time I did a review that in two weeks we were going to be at a new place. And we are. We are at um, Saco River Camping Area in Conway, New Hampshire. But it has been renamed. I don't know if it's new owners, but um, it is now the Saco River Family Campground in Conway, which is located right across from Settlers Green, right downtown Conway, New Hampshire, um, right next to the river. So this is a very nice campground. Um, we've been here before. We came last year. We've been here for a week, and we've rebooked for next year. Um, my review on this campground is, is overall pretty good. Um, I don't know if my reviews mean anything or not, but I rated this one like a 4.5. Um, so this cranium ground has every amenity. Each site pretty much has your water, electric, sewer, cable, um, free Wi-Fi. Um, not all of them do, but um, so that's that's pretty big if you're used to that city camping um, with every amenity. Um, it also has, uh, along with the uh, Saco River, to be able to float down, it has a nice um, Nice pool and an activity center, which is still in progress of being um, constructed. You can't go in the activity center, but uh, the pool was open this year and uh, looks very nice. Um, we were in it. Um, one of the things that I didn't like about the pool is that it was heated. Um, so for being down here in August, I don't want to be in a heated pool. They had a hot tub on one side, which you'll see in the pictures, and it was just so warm that we chose not to go in it. We, we spent all our time in the river. That was quite refreshing. Um, also, that comes with the campground, lots of activities for kids. This is really set up for kids. You've got kayak rentals, tube rentals, transportation. They will bring you to your drop-off spots and pick up spots if needed at a, uh, at a charge. Um, it's easily, uh, you can easily find this. Um, lots of shopping activities. If you uh, need to do that with your kids for back to school, you are right close to a lot of restaurants, right next, right across from Settle is Green and um, easy access to Santa's Village and Storyland right around the corner. So um, everything that way you need. Um, the other thing I touched on in the other review I, that I did was the water pressure, but the water pressure here is great. There are no reducers, so you actually kind of have to uh, monitor your own intake as far as pressure and, and what your RV can handle. Um, if you're looking for a quiet campground, there are sections to this that are quiet, but most of it is um, all paved waves, um, lots of kids, uh, lots of uh, pets. So if you're looking for the um, quiet, um, out of the way uh, campground with a little bit of privacy, this is probably not your campground. Uh, we like it because there's so much to do in the area go up into the White Mountains, Franconia Notch, all of that, Mount Washington. There's a ton of stuff to do here and you really can't do it all in a week. So um, one of the other downfalls about this campground is the Wi-Fi. It seems to be quite spotty um, if you happen to use the Wi-Fi. People say when you go camping, you're supposed to be camping, but um, I get it. So um, the Wi-Fi is a little spotty. Um, but other than that, um, the only other downfall that I've seen is this campground has 200 plus sites. And last year, I don't know if it came with a name change or the lack of staff, but um, the sites seem they're clean, but they could have used a little more mowing and trimming. I don't know if it's because of the lack of staff, but when I got here, I'm a little anal. I actually raked my own lawn when I got here. It just makes it better for pets going in, in and out of your own camper. But those are the only two downfalls that I saw with this campground. So uh, if you have any questions or concerns about this campground or how I camp or what I do, 
shoot me a message. If not, stay tuned. It's going to be probably um, a month before we get going camping again. I got a lot going on in the next month that I'm missing a little bit of the summer and I understand that. But uh, stay tuned and we'll get back with you when we will be in Abbott, Maine. And uh, I'll do a review on that campground. So until then, we'll see you next time.